Uh, it's gone down very badly. Uh, Northern leaders are accusing the government of going back on its promises. On Wednesday, the West Yorkshire Mayor Tracy Bravin wrote to Boris Johnson directly, urging him to stick to those original plans. Uh, and they say that the upgrades to the Trans-Pennine line uh, are not the Northern Powerhouse Rail scheme that the North was promised. And these are just, uh, as we were promised, a separate line, not uh, these upgrades to the existing ones. And this is what the Mayor of Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, has been saying about it all. We will not allow any upgrade of lines to be rebranded as Northern Powerhouse Rail because that is not what we were, that is not what we were, were promised. Um, the North shouldn't have to choose between you know, as I say, intracity versus intercity or north-south versus east-west. We were promised it all. And, you know, we expect the government to honour the promises uh, that have been made repeatedly, repeatedly to our uh, residents. No real surprise that Andy Burnham feels like that. But what about ordinary people in Yorkshire? How, do, are they hot under the collar about this whole issue? Well, certainly there's huge concern when you speak to political and business leaders about that. But I would also say, Simon, that's not universal. You do have some councils like Wakefield Council, which is opposed to HS2.